<laughs> so it's got power in it. It powers up already without yep. even having to, to press power. So I'm going to light up the keyboard. Just hold this down. Blue light will come on. Okay. So this is your um, kind of the operator's screen. This is the surgeon's screen. So it basically just mirrors uh, what's on there. So is there usually somebody that's operating this while the surgeon is looking at that or? Usually, okay. um, you know, just to, the, the surgeon or physician can, can uh, you know, turn on the focusing dots, start and stop the video, uh, take still images, uh, all from the camera head. Okay. Um, but you can operate it from here as well. So it just takes a minute to boot up here. So your username is always clinical, mm -hmm. and then your password is uh, spy. Just must be why. Yep. And then hit vascular and log mm -hmm. in. After that. Let's see here. Come on. You gotta be right on go. it. <laughs> okay. And then you can enter patient data into there. Yep, exactly. So you'll go uh, new study, mm -hmm. and this will pop up. You'll put in uh, patients. Uh, Last name, first name. So let's see here. That's just three name, my name. Okay, last name first. Uh, <laughs> no. Oops. All right. Are you in there? Uh, I am not. Oh. No, no. And then uh, birth date. You just select. You know the year. And then month, day 15, okay, let's see here, it's a little sensitive there. And then the, the patient's uh, MR. MR number. Okay. All right, then drop down here. So surgeons haven't been, been entered yet, but um, you know, I can, can add your name in there. Uh, let's see here, so create study. Yeah, I hope I'm not on the receiving end of this someday. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. good to know that technology is uh, is available. So um, now you're just kind of in a um, you know live you know viewing mode. Mm -hmm. So you'll turn on the uh, focusing dots. Mm -hmm. All right. So what right there is your 12 inches. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. So as those come together, and then so you'll you'll tell anesthesia or you know, whoever's administering the ICG after it's reconstituted, um, you know, they'll give the, the three cc's with a 10 cc saline bolus. You'll, you'll turn the lights down and then um, you'll turn on the buffering, which is basically, it's, you're able to see the, the blush come in. So it'll take 20, 30 seconds. You'll start to see the fluorescence come in. On this monitor right here? Yep, yep. Actually on that monitor, but it's, it's just mirroring. Mm -hmm. So what you see here is what you see over there. It's just wider so a surgeon mm -hmm. can see it from across the the field. So you'll hit record and now <clears throat> this is recording and then you know you'll you'll let it run out 80 90 seconds. Actually um, one of the differences between Shoudry and us is that we don't need to be sterile whereas he was doing it intraoperatively which is why that camera would probably be useful for him. Right. We could do the whole thing just looking at this. Once we get it positioned on the foot where none of us are scrubbed at that point. Right, right. So. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, so once you uh, once you stop there you can go back, click on the video, and then what you'll do is, uh, you know, say you want to take it up. You know, we, we didn't run it long enough, but say at, you know, say 15 seconds is, you know, your realistic 80 or 90. Uh, you'll go to contour, and then so maybe what we can do is open a case. But what this is saying, uh, let's see here. So there's two different ways to, to look at perfusion. There's an absolute and a relative. Mm -hmm. uh, absolute is basically, uh, you'll just hit this percent. It's a contour level of one or, or zero to 255. Okay. A lot of people will say at, at 14 is a you know healthy perfusion. Mm -hmm. Anything below that, probably not so viable. Or you can do the percentage, which is saying, okay, if, if this tissue is 100%, 20% of that is not great. That's something okay. you'd want to consider, you know, resecting. So um, that's how you set those. So we drop this down here to 20%.
So maybe what I can do Where is... Where does it say 20%? Uh, up here. That's your okay. contour level. So do you put this 100% in an area on the screen that you know is 100% perfused? And then when you move it to different areas, it'll give you the percent? Is that right, okay. right. So it's basically saying, uh, however you'd classify, 100% is basically selling, you know, healthy tissue. Mm -hmm. uh, 20%, you know, it's just kind of your, your kind of break even point or mm -hmm. if it's less than 20, uh, you'd consider resecting it better than 20, probably pretty healthy. So there's, you know, most people use the absolute. Some people like relative, it's, it's really, Physician preference on how they. If you hit 100% and you're scanning the whole image, will it automatically tell you the numbers across the screen? Like what's 20, what's 50, what's 100? Yeah, like, so maybe. Based on like pixel or intensity, you know? Yep, so maybe, uh, and then this is the viewing. Um, you can hit this, it just basically brightens the screen a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you can toggle between your contour levels, uh, absolute, so that's relative, this is absolute, and then. Um, so maybe what I'll do is uh, if we can go into a case here. Hopefully that's all right. Let's see. <clears throat> so hopefully, uh, let's see here, Chowdhury. I'm trying to think what would be a good case. Right here. Mm -hmm. Let me try that one. All right. So it doesn't look like he had any videos here. Hmm. Let's see here. Lacerated tendon. I'm trying to think what the breast case would be. Mm. There's an ankle one, but I don't know if it has any videos on it. Oh, where are you seeing that? Talk? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. No. I wonder which one of these would be. Would it have to be one that has the little black? Yeah, I think, uh... Although, that one would be on. Tendon probably wouldn't be as applicable, would it? No, but I think there's images. Okay, let's see here. So let's play this. And you can advance it. It look like it's like nothing lit, lit up. Huh? Although on the bottom it said two minutes and fifteen seconds, hmm. but maybe it was still trying to get there. Okay, here are some good ones. Okay. All right. So let's see here. We'll just reset that. So so there's twenty percent uh, perfusion. That's saying this is a hundred percent. So as you move this to higher and lower uh, levels of perfusion, mm -hmm. your contours come in and out. So as we raise this up to basically a higher level of perfusion, it's kind of closing in. So it's actually mapping it out without you having to draw it out or anything like that. Right, right. Okay. And then, um, so if we toggle here and then go to 14, that would kind of be the using the, the absolute mapping. And then, then what you can do is put numbers up here to get, you know, if you want to zero in on a certain area, that'll mm -hmm. tell you exactly you know, if there's kind of a marginal area that you're questioning, so. And then on a, on a foot, and then you can foot reset. Wound, um, are you able to tell on these images where on the foot exactly it is relative to like an ulcer or area? I mean, can you make out the, the anatomy of a foot on this or is it sort of just, um, you just kind of have to, I don't know, I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, let me, you know, I've got my iPad here. So why would anybody want to do a contour level of 20 or whereas if you just put a hundred, if I, if you put a hundred on this, can you drag the hundred to different areas and it'll give you the relative intensity? Yeah. Like, so there's a hundred. So there's a hundred. So we'll drop this back down to 20. So you're arbitrarily, arbitrarily setting it at 20, meaning that anything less than that is bad, anything above it is good. Mm -hmm. So you're setting that number saying that 20 is adequate or above. 
That's right. the purpose of the contour level. The, okay. the clinical studies done mm -hmm. um, say that with the 100% at uh, you know, healthy tissue, the relative tissue at 20 it would not be very healthy. Okay, is is what the so if you drag that hundred, shouldn't it shouldn't it change to like a different, like I'm thinking, it would yep. it would change. Yeah, and it is slightly. Um, now all this tissue is pretty much the same level of perfusion. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you get you know, to an area that's not so healthy, it would change. You know, a little more drastically. Mm -hmm. And if it was really, really crappy, this number would go to like 15, for example, and then you would say, oh, it's less than 20, and that's 15, so that's a, a, a bad area. Right, right. So let's, so we can drop that down to just say your contour level at 15. So now it's kind of, you know, pulling out further. Okay. Um, I'm trying to 